team, I hope you're all well. Today we are going to be doing my October haul and also a Fairly unboxing, which I will do at the end. Um, so I have uh, quite a lot of books here again um, for the month of October. My intention is to not buy any books in November if I can help it. I say this. We are currently uh, five days in to November and I have bought two books already so one of which is going to go in this haul and the other one I will show in my birthday haul essentially if I remember to do so um, but uh, that's not coming till tomorrow so um, yeah uh, other than pre-orders, I'm trying my very hardest not to buy anything in November because it is my birthday in December. So this will be my last haul until my birthday haul, which I'm excited about. So I'm going to start off with a few books that I have already read. Um, and I read these in October. So you will have seen that in my October wrap up, which I will leave a link to up here if you've not already seen it. So the first one is The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. I really enjoyed this one. This is a really good um academic romance book and i really really enjoyed it very very interesting love the concept of this really really had a good time with it i'm not going to go through the synopsis of all of these books if i can remember to do a brief rundown if i know what they're on about i will do but uh, otherwise we will be here forever then i have the girls are never gone by sarah glenn marsh i really enjoyed this one actually this is a ya um horror and it was really really good and i really did enjoy it it was very very good indeed would recommend it has like a podcast in it as well kind of think like sadie by courtney summers um type vibes really good then i have the halloween moon by joseph fink which is a middle grade uh, supernatural paranormal fantasy-esque horror type book and it was good i enjoyed it I had a good time with this one then I have The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager, which I really did enjoy. I thought this was fantastic. As always, it's a thriller, um, horror-esque type book. And I really enjoyed this one. I have The Secrets of Camp Whatever by Chris Grime, which is a middle grade graphic novel. And this was actually such a surprising book for me. I really, really loved this one. I'm very excited for the next one to come out. Uh, this did come out this year, so it is new. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed this. If you enjoy Lumberjanes, um, you will like this one, I think. So I would recommend it to people who enjoyed Lum Lumberjanes. And I also have The X-Hex by Erin Sterling, which again, I really enjoyed adult romance with witchy vibes and I really enjoyed this one I had a good time with it so then we have a bunch of books that I haven't yet read so let's go through these some of these are on my November TBR and you will have seen them on there so we have Snapdragon by Kat Lay, which I am really excited to read and I am hoping to get to in November possibly we'll see it's a middle grade graphic novel about a witch um, and I'm possibly hoping to get to it fingers crossed i'm not sure if i'm keen on the art style but we'll see as i'm reading the story but it's a graphic novel and i'm looking forward to reading it then we have the ghoul next door by colin bunn and kat farris which is another middle grade graphic novel and uh it's following i actually don't know anything about this um but i'm really looking forward to it i'm assuming it's supernatural paranormal-esque middle grade so i am hyped for this one then i have eight perfect hours by leah lois lewis um i haven't read from this author before but i really love this cover and i just really wanted to read it this is going to be adult romance following two characters i assume that um i can't honestly remember <laughs> Um, but I'm looking forward to reading it. I'm hoping to pick this one up around December. If not, it might run into next year, but I'm hoping to read it during winter. So fingers crossed for that. I don't know what's just happened to the weather. Dark clouds are rolling in, so that's that's fun. Uh, we have Frostheart, Rise of the World Eater by Jamie Littler, which is the third and final book in the Frostheart series. And I'm so excited to read this one. It is on my November TBR, so stay tuned if you want to find out my thoughts about this one. Then I have The Highland Falcon Thief by M.G. Leonard and Sam Sedgman, also on my November TBR. And I am looking forward to reading this one very, very much. So Jade's been recommending me this for the longest time now. So I'm really glad that I'm getting a chance to pick this one up. She loves the Adventures on Train series. So I am hyped for this one. 
We've got The Battle for Raw by Jenny McLaughlin, which is the third and final book in the Raw series. I don't know what the series is called, uh, but I love this series. It's so, so good. I love following these siblings on this journey when they go through to Raw. It's such a good concept and I just adore it so much. I'm really, really hyped to read this one also on my November TBR. I've got The Midwinter Witch by Molly Knox Ostertag, which is the third and I think possibly the final graphic novel in the... Um, what's the first one called which boy series um which is following a young boy who wants to be a, a witch rather than a shifter which the boys are shifters the girls become witches he wants to become a witch the story goes on from there and i really enjoy this series so much i'm looking forward to continuing on with this one also on my november tbr I have Shadow Ghast by Thomas Taylor, which is the third and I think final book in the Aerion Sea series. Again, really loving this series so much. I really enjoy uh, Herbie Lemon and also Violet Palmer. I really enjoy their adventures. It's so good. So I can't wait to continue on with this one also on my November TBR. Then I have Gear Breakers by Zoe Han Mik Mikuta. I am on the tour for this one, so thank you to Pride Butt Tours for arranging me to get a copy of this one. I really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to reviewing this one on the 22nd of November over on Instagram, so keep your eyes peeled if you want to know my thoughts on this one. But I will also be reading it during a, a vlog as well. So looking forward to that one, also on my November TBR, obviously. Um, then I have The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello, and this one is also on my November TBR. I wanted to get Christmas as well as Spooky in in November because why the heck not um so I'm looking forward to this one it's not that long at all but I'm really looking forward to some festive reads already in November then I've got The Last House on Needless Street by Katerina Ward um I have started this I got 44 pages into it and put it down I don't think I'm in the right headspace mentally to read this one um but I believe well I've been led down the path of thinking that this is a horror I'm not sure how true that is but I will find out when I eventually pick it up it's just not going to be right now it was supposed to be on my November TBR I have swapped it out for something else so uh, stay tuned with my vlogs if you want to know what that is. I also have So This Is Christmas by Tracy Andrine and I'm really looking forward to this one as well. I would really like to pick this up in November but we'll see. I, it may be pushed into December. We'll see what happens but this is going to be a romance Christmas book and I am here for it. Then we have Kingdom of the Cursed by Kerry Maniscalco. This is the Waterstones edition. It's just a plain Waterstones edition. I do have the Fairloot edition coming. Just don't know when it's going to get here. So I really wanted a copy so that I can read it because it's out now, obviously. I have this in my hand. Um, so yeah, this is the second in the Kingdom of the Wicked series. Um, and I loved Kingdom of the Wicked. So I cannot wait to continue on with this series and knowing that it's smutty as well living for it i have under the whispering door by tj clune this is the waterstone signed edition i am also getting the illumicrate editions of this and um the house in the cerulean sea so i can't wait to get those but this does have sprayed edges it also has a bookmark in it and these gorgeous end papers and it's signed by tj clune as well beautiful uh, so i am looking forward to reading this one everyone's telling me i'm gonna absolutely love it and i cannot wait to pick it up i'm hoping i get the chance to do so very very soon i have the haunting of evelyn jones by phil hicks which i have just read i read this yesterday really really enjoyed it so i then immediately went to buy this is one of the books that's just come today uh the bewitching of evelyn jones which is the second in this series so I have both of these, gave this one four stars, real looking forward to hopefully picking this one up in the month of November. We will see if I get the chance to do so. Then I have How Not To Be A Vampire Slayer by Katie Birchall. I picked this one up because Jade picked it up, essentially, which is, you know, like the majority of why I pick up a lot of my books, to be honest. Um, she picked this one up as she was reading it. It was her buddy read, her Patreon buddy read for the month of October. I just didn't get a chance to pick it up because I was in a fantasy slump, which is big sad. Um, but I did buy it and I'm looking forward to picking this one up. It is a middle grade um, fantasy book. 
other than that i don't know much about it but i am hopefully gonna pick that one up soon then i got shadow in the ember by jennifer l armantrout which cc sent me so thank you so much to cc for sending me this uh this is the a flesh and fire novel it's the first in a new series that's a spin-off from the from blood nash series i believe um but i think we're following a different character so i am looking forward to picking this one up i still need to finish the from blood nash series i've only got the last one to go um but yeah thank you to cc for gifting me this one i really really appreciate it then i have heart stopper volume one this is the Feralute hardback edition which is absolutely stunning and i am obsessed obsessed with look at those end papers aren't they stunning um signed by alice oseman and underneath the dust jacket absolutely stunning i am obsessed with this book i do not regret getting this one single bit i didn't need this copy but i don't regret getting it and i hope that they do following editions as well um so yeah excited to have that one then i have you can go your own way by eric smith which comes out on december 9th i believe so thank you to harper 360 for sending me this one i really appreciate it um i am looking forward to picking this one up it's following um two former best friends who've not spoken in four years but then they're forced together for some reason and feelings may have gone further than just best friends i believe so i'm really looking forward to this one so yeah thank you to harper 360 for sending me this one hoping to get to it probably the beginning of december i don't think i'll have chance in november um i did get myself a small copy of a christmas carol by charles dickens a small copy it's a small story um this copy essentially penguin english library collection um from tk maxx uh, so of all places I reread a Christmas Carol every single year it's probably the only book I consistently read every single year I read at Christmas and I love it so I'm really excited to have I listen to the audio but I'm excited to have a physical copy of it now because that's a uh, really really cute so excited about that one then I have Last Chance Books by Kelsey Rodkey which is apparently a um you've got mail reimagining which i am literally here for because you you've got mail is one of my favorite movies of all time so i'm really looking forward to this one it sounds awesome and i'm hoping i can get to it pretty soon as well i feel like it's a fall book so i'm hoping i can get to it at some point even if it's in winter i will read it then i'm not bothered then i have my waterstones um anniversary edition of v schwab's the invisible life of Addie larue um this is an illustrated anniversary edition the edges look like this and this and i'm obsessed with it the end papers look like this and also this and underneath the dust jacket it looks like this i'm obsessed with this edition was there any need for me to get a fourth edition of this book probably not no um but i've gone ahead and done it anyway and i'm not sorry <laughs> in the slightest to be honest if I was to get rid of any of my editions now, it will be the original Waterstones edition that I got because I don't particularly like the gold on it. So, but I am obsessed with this. This is beautiful. So I'm really, really glad that I got it. Then I, my pre-order of the Christmas Saurus and the Naughty List by Tom Fletcher came through and I'm so freaking excited. I love reading the Christmas Saurus at Christmas. Um, I have really enjoyed the previous editions of this story. So I'm really excited to have this one um the under the dust jacket is just so beautiful of these hardcovers i'm obsessed if you haven't read the christmas saurus yet you've got kids or you've not got kids but you love middle grades i would recommend this one it's a little bit younger but it's brilliant and the illustrations are stunning and i want to keep these editions because i think thomas is going to love them once he gets to a point where he can read books properly because the audiobooks are fantastic as well i would recommend them so yeah um then i have anxious people for, by frederick backman i've heard such good things about this and uh it was on the buy one get one half price sale so i picked it up along with the last house on needless street because i've heard really 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 good things and i want to pick it up 
Then Joe Pollard sent me For Your Own Good by Samantha Downing. So thank you so much, Joe, for sending me this one. This is a thriller that I've heard incredible things about. Uh, I believe it's Dark Academia type book and I've heard really good things so I wanted to get a copy of this one. I think the US um, cover is so much nicer than this one. I'll show a picture of it. I just think it's so much more thriller-esque. I don't know. Um, but yeah, thank you to Joe for sending me a copy of that when you did not have to, but thank you so much. Then my pre-order of Beast Boy Loves Raven by Cami Garcia and Gabriel Piccolo has come in, which is a graphic novel, and I love this series so much. It's the Teen Titans series. I have read Beast Boy and I have read Raven, so I'm really excited about continuing on with this series. My pre-order of The Adventure Zone, The Crystal Kingdom, also came in by the McElroys, and this is is volume four of this series. I am obsessed with this series. This is essentially a D&D campaign in a graphic novel and it's just hilarious. So uh, I would recommend this one for sure. Even if you're not into D&D, I'm not into d and I don't know the rules at all, but I just find it really funny. Um, then I bought copies of These Witches Don't Burn and also This Coven Won't Break by Isabel Sterling. I have read These Witches Don't Burn a couple years ago now, um, but I never continued on with the series and I wanted copies of both of these and I'm really glad that I got them. I was going to try and get the hardbacks, but honestly, I'm kind of glad that I've got the paperbacks now because they're pretty floppy and I'm here for it. So uh, these are so beautiful together as well. So really excited to continue on with that series. And the final book I have to show you came in this morning and it is my Forbidden Planet edition of Aurora's End by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I nearly said Jay Kaufman. My apologies, Jay. Um, not that you're watching this. Uh, but today is Friday the 5th of November. It is bonfire night actually in the UK and uh, this doesn't come out until the 9th. <laughs> So thanks Forbidden Planet for this. I'm very excited. I cannot wait. I decided to get the Forbidden Planet edition because I got the original edition of Aurora Rising, so it's purple. But then I got the Forbidden Planet edition of Aurora Burning, which is yellow. And then Illumicrate showed their, their edition of Aurora's End, which is yellow. And I didn't want two copies of the yellow. So I went Forbidden for Forbidden Planet's edition to go with my yellow for aurora burning but i think i'm also going to try i've also got pre-ordered the original edition of this as well which is green uh because i really like the green and i think i want to try and if i can get my hands on a copy of aurora burning in the original one as well which i can't remember what color that's meant to be is it orange i think the original one is orange um so yeah if i can get a copy of that one and then the Aurora Rising one, the only special edition I think that came out that I'm aware of was the Illumicrate one, which was pink. Because then Aurora Burning was blue and Aurora's End is yellow. I'm fairly certain, anyway, um, if I remember correctly. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that was a pretty hefty haul. Um, I'm going to just hold this stack up because I can't pick them all up. Um, and I've scattered them around in piles now to go either back downstairs or, or back on the shelves or whatever. Um, so that's a, it's a, just a, oh fuck, um, shit, that's just a little, you know, peek into how much stuff I've got. Um, so yeah, that's a reasonable haul. I've got to stop because I haven't got the room. Um, and we're going to very quickly unbox this as well. So let's see what's inside. Oh, shizer, I forgot we were getting a blanket this month success okay where is the spoiler card do we have one we do it's just in the bottom of the box which is really helpful um i understand why they've done it so this is the spoiler card and the theme for this month is broken hearts which i'm really excited about so the first thing obviously that i saw is a blanket which is kingdom of the wicked inspired and i'm so freaking hyped about this I really, really love Fairy Loot's blankets. <laughs> I like live in the previous blanket that they did. I can't even remember what inspired. Is it Blood and Honey? Actually, yeah, it's a Blood and Honey um, inspired one because I got it in my Blood and Honey box. I remember now. Um, so let's see. I don't. I'm not going to be able to hold this up entirely. I might have to do like a. I don't think anyway. Is it upside down? 
it's not as big i will say it's not as big as the blood and honey one because the blood and honey one's huge um but this is what it looks like the colors are stunning so it's a snake all the way down in is it in a is it in a knife a sword oh yeah it's in a sword so kingdom of the wicked inspired blanket i'm just gonna put that it's shedding all over me but i'm gonna put it over my lap because i'm cold <laughs> um so yeah kingdom of the wicked inspired blanket which was designed by forensics and flowers nice then we have this envelope which says once upon a broken heart character cards designed by morgana morgana oh my goodness these are stunning okay so this is the back of the character cards and then on the front we look like this these are beautiful the gold detail on these are stunning oh my goodness she's gorgeous holy crap oh wow she's beautiful are they tattoos Good lord oh, handsome fellow okay these illustrations are stunning and these characters are beautiful how does a book have this many beautiful characters okay i'm here for this i'm very excited <laughs> um stunning nice then we have an addy trinket tray I love Addie LaRue. It was my favourite book of 2020. I'm so excited. It's really pretty. I love it. Very nice. And then we have... It's a viper's nest. See that you have the strongest venom. We set the dark on fire poster postcard thing we have our two tarot cards these are beautiful look at the colors on these we have the six and five of pentacles five and six of pentacles and they are inspired by featuring Ta tarisai and deo from ray bearer which i have not read um but they are stunning colors are gorgeous on them and then i think we are into our book um i'm fairly certain that there may be something missing out of this box which you know is the second box now not from fairy loot the first one was a lumicrate where something's been missing and i'm big sad about it um we have the bookmark that matches the card the spoiler card um the fairy scoop which i'll go through in a second yeah it looks like there's supposed to be a keychain in here and i don't have it um and we have a dear reader letter this is beautiful stunning and then we have the book which i'm pretty excited about i'm not gonna lie i'm a bit nervous oh it's beautiful i'm a bit nervous because i've read the first book that this author did in a series and i didn't carry on with the series because i wasn't overly bothered the writing was a little bit too flowery for me so i'm a little bit nervous about this one but we have Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. This is absolutely <gasps> stunning. So the edges are pink here and here, but they look like this here. Are we gonna focus on the book? There we go. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Um, it is signed by stephanie and the end papers <gasps> they are beautiful holy crap just <laughs> the other side of the book the ballad of the archer and the fox oh my goodness this book is stunning and this is the inside of the dust jacket oh lord well i'm pretty excited now i'm not gonna lie 
This is a stunning addition. Okay, what's this about? Never make a deal with fate. For as long as she can remember, Evangeline, Evangeline? Evangeline Fox has believed in happily ever after until she learned that the love of her life is about to marry another and her dreams are shattered. Desperate to stop the wedding and heal her wounded heart, Evangeline strikes a deal with the charismatic but wicked Prince of Hearts. In exchange for his help, he asks for three kisses to be given at the same time and, and a place of his choosing. But after Evangeline's first promised kiss, she learns that bargaining with an immortal is a dangerous game and that the Prince of Hearts wants far more from her than she's pledged. He has plans for Evangeline, plans that will either end in the greatest happily ever after or the most exquisite tragedy. <gasps> it sounds so good. Oh, I, you know what? I'm actually here for this. I'm very excited about this. Um, so yeah, very hyped indeed. Let me just double check that something's not fallen out of the box while I've been taking stuff out. So yeah, just the keychain that I'm missing out of my box, which is absolutely fine because it's meant to be um, Greek mythology inspired. It's inspired by lore by Alexandra Brecken, which I haven't read anyway. Um, so it's it's fine. It's okay. It's just a little bit frustrating, isn't it, to miss something out of your box, especially when you're doing an unboxing. Um, but it, it is fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm loving this trinket dish and these tarot cards this month. Stunning. Um, but yeah. And the blanket as well. And these cards as well for Once Upon a Broken Heart. Amazing. So nice. Exciting times. So that is everything for me to unbox for you. Hello. Adding a little bit onto this video because we have a couple more boxes here <laughs> from Illumicrate. So I might as well unbox them during this video, seeing as this is a haul and unboxing video. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I do have a code for Illumicrate if you would like to get a discount. It's on the screen here. And also I will leave a link to both Illumicrate's website and my discount code in the description box down below so you can go and check them out if you wanna. But um, I'm not sure what's in at least one of these boxes, but I'm fairly certain the other one's either my TJ Klune set or the graphic novel set because I, I got both. Um, I've been getting all the books from Illumicrate recently because why the heck not? And I'm really, really excited for either one. Okay, I think it's the graphic novel set. Okay, so I got both of the graphic novels that Illumicrate did. I You could get them separately, but I decided to go for both both of them. The first one is Extraordinary by V.E. Schwab. I love the Villains series, and this is a Villains story by V.E. Schwab um, as a graphic novel, so I'm really, really excited. <gasps> so pretty. I am hyped. I'm not sure who... Oh, it's signed. Pretty. I'm not... I'm not sure who this one follows, um, but I'm excited. It looks really, really good. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I cannot wait to give this a read. And then the other graphic novel is Law Olympus Volume 1 by Rachel Smith. Um, so I just, this honestly, this is just unbelievably beautiful. Um, so I couldn't not get it. Uh, so yeah, again, don't know a great deal about this one. There is a dear reader letter here from Rachel in the front of the book, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, content warnings in here. And oh my goodness, that art style is stunning. I am so glad I got this. Holy crap so pretty but i am here for both of these so very excited to have them and then we have this box in which we have my tj clune books excitement what a day i'm so excited Okay, so I did get the TJ Klune pair of books, The House on the Cerulean Sea and Under the Whispering Door. So this is The House on the Cerulean Sea with these sprayed edges, which are absolutely stunning. I have already read, oh my goodness, have already read House Under the, in the Cerulean Sea and absolutely loved it. Under the Dust Jacket is so beautiful. Um, 
I adored this book. It's one of my all-time favourite books. It's so, so beautiful. TJ did amazing with this. Um, so yeah, absolutely love it. And it is signed as well. So very excited. I just love this book. If you haven't read this one yet, I would highly recommend. Extremely wholesome. And then under the Whispering Door, I do have my Waterstones edition as well, which is also signed. So my Waterstones edition has this sprayed edges all the way round. However, this one does have some stencil art on the edges as well. Um, end papers. Signed. So beautiful. And oh my God. Under the dust jacket. So, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Kind of want to keep the dust jacket off these ones. Um, because they're stunning. But yeah, so very excited. Some incredible book mail there from um, Illumicrate. Very excited indeed. So again, I will leave a link to Illumicrate's website in the description box down below so you can check them out. And my discount code if you would like to use it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you've gotten any of the books that I have hauled in this video. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.